so far we have been discussing curves in R3 and we have defined them and discussed some of its properties for example finding the speed and finding its uh, parameterizations and for example finding the arc length now we also know that there are many different representations or parameterizations of the same geometrical path and since we are interested in only the geometrical properties of those paths so we want to kind of find a parameterization that is particularly helpful for us so there is one very particular parameterization known as the arc length parameterization or arc length parameterization which is basically helpful and it will simplify our computations so in this module we are going to see that given any curve alpha what is this parameterization and how do we reparameterize any given curve so that it has this arc length parameterization so let's begin with our discussion so the idea is very simple let's assume we have a moving object in r3 it has a trajectory which is a curve and we are interested in just the geometrical properties of the path and we are not interested in the speed of that object we are not interested in the orientation in which that object is moving so that's why we find a parameterization of the same path which is helpful in our computations okay so this is known as arc length parameterization so the our first definition in this direction is going to be check when a speed is unit speed curve so as the name suggests that it is going to be a curve that has unit speed for every value of the parameter so in other words this norm of beta prime of t which is the speed of this beta of t is always going to be 1 and it is independent of t so the speed is independent of t and although this beta prime depends on t so it is constant so at each and every point the speed is 1 and hence the unit speed curve consider this particular example where beta of t is given as cosine t sine t and 10 we want to we want to check whether the speed of this curve is unit at each and every value of time t or not so for that we need to calculate beta prime of t which is minus sine t sine t the derivative of sine t is cosine t and derivative of this constant 10 is 0 now we want to calculate the speed of this curve and the speed uh, is basically the magnitude of velocity so this is going to be equal to sine square t plus cosine square t and 0 square okay so this is going to be equal to 1 square and 1 and hence we can see that although this uh, beta depends on the parameter t but its speed is always 1 and hence it is a unit speed curve so that's what we want to achieve for any given curve so if a curve is given and uh, it has a geometrical path associated to it okay so for given function alpha now we want to reparameterize a given alpha such that the speed of that reparameterization is 1 so given any curve alpha can we reparameterize alpha to beta so that beta is a unit speed curve and when the speed is unit then most of our calculations related to the geometrical properties of the curve alpha will be simplified and the answer luckily uh, is yes we have arc length reparameterization so now let's explore what is this arc length reparameterization and can we find it for any given curve alpha now we have this theorem which states that yes we can do that and uh, uh, the proof of this theorem is constructive so in other words when we follow the proof of this theorem then we will be able to solve the examples as well so we just need to follow the proof of this theorem so we have a regular curve so that's the mathematical condition that we are imposing on this curve alpha so in other words alpha prime of t should not be equal to zero vector for all values of t in the given interval alpha and of course uh, alpha uh, should also be a member of this set c3 which is uh, uh, functions which are three times differentiable if this happens then there exists a reparameterization beta of alpha such that the speed of beta is one so this alpha is given which is regular and we need to find this beta which is of course alpha of h of s so in other words our main target is to find this function h of s which is uh, uh, the function which relates this alpha with beta now the idea of the proof is very uh, uh, geometric 
so uh, let's say given this curve alpha so it is represented by this path so how do we get uh, this path so for example for some time t t1 for example we have this point for some other value of the parameter t2 we have this point for some other value of the parameter we have this point and up to so on alpha of t4 and up to so on so we are we are getting uh, the values of the parameter from i and we are putting it in uh, uh, the definition of alpha we are getting the points in the space we are uh, and then we are plotting them and joining them we are getting this curve so that's how this parameter uh, t works now we can now find another way of moving around the same geometrical path which is the curve represented by alpha so what do we do we choose a base point okay so let's say this is our base point and let's say this is uh, a value of the parameter a okay so let me write it down in a precise way t is equal to a so let's say this is our base point and then uh, the parameter that we intend to choose is the distance along the curve so for example we can ask what are the coordinates of the point along this path which is for example one distance away so this is a unit distance or the distance is one and what are the coordinates of this point and if uh, this uh, blue uh, parameterization is denoted by beta of s then this point is basically beta of one and similarly we can talk about what are the coordinates of the point which is let's say 1.5 unit away okay so now this distance now this whole distance is going to be 1.5 okay and then the coordinates of this point can be obtained by putting uh, the value of the parameter s is equal to 1.5 so over here s is equal to 1.5 and over here s is equal to 1 so basically this is arc length parameter in other words uh, when you give the arc length then it will give us uh, the coordinates of the point which is that distant distance away from the base point and similarly of course we can talk about the negative distance now here you can see that there is an arrowhead which is the direction of motion of alpha if s is positive we are moving in the direction of alpha if s is negative then we can talk about the same thing so for example what are the coordinates of the point which is um, two distance at a distance of two units along the curve so this is s is equal to minus two because we are moving in the opposite direction and this will be equal to beta of minus two so this is the arc length parameter so that's the geometrical uh, properties of this arc length parameter now the point is how do we find this arc length parameter of course what are we going to need we are going to need a base point and we are going to need this arc length so we have this arc length function s of t so this a is the base point okay in particular examples we can uh, we can always choose this a to be any point and uh, in most of the cases we take this a to be zero just to simplify our computations of the integration and this s of t what is this s of t giving me so for any curve given curve alpha so um, this s of t is giving me the arc length from this base point p uh, so from this base point a for any arbitrary value of t so this is the point alpha of a this is the point alpha of t and this arc length function is giving me this length so this is s of t okay and now we want this uh, this function of t to be our new parameter okay so this uh, s we want this s to be our new parameter so what do we do so we need to check that uh, whether there is an inverse of this function or not okay because what are, what do we need to do so we need to calculate alpha of h of s so we need to find this h of s which is basically t is equal to h of s so we need to find t is equal to h of s and at the moment this s is a function of t so we need to find its inverse okay so find inverse okay of this so, so that we can find the t as a function of s and then we can calculate alpha of h of s now by fundamental theorem of calculus ds by dt is going to be equal to this uh, alpha prime of t okay so this is of course the speed of alpha and now we also know that the curve is regular and hence uh, what do we have 
uh, this uh, ds by dt is going to be equal to this expression the fundamental theorem and this is greater than zero strictly greater than zero and hence we are not allowed to uh, get this value to be equal to zero due to the implication of this condition and hence we can say that s of t is a strictly increasing function and hence it is a one to one function because a strictly increasing function will never uh, stop any point so it will always keep on increasing and hence we can say that s of t since it is one to one it has its inverse and we can say that the inverse is t is equal to t of s so that is the inverse of this function so this theorem confirms that uh, this arc length parameter has an inverse under the condition that the curve is regular now the only thing that we need to do is to prove that this new reparameterization of alpha given as alpha of t of s because this t is a function of s is a unit speed parameterization okay so in other words we need to calculate its speed so this is equal to the derivative of alpha of t of s so this is going to be equal to the derivative of alpha of t of s and dt by ds okay now uh, using the properties of the norm so this is equal to the norm of alpha prime of t of s and the norm of dt by ds so this is uh, uh, just a positive value okay so this is going to be equal to so dt by ds so without any mod since it is positive and then uh, the speed is ds by dt as we have discussed by fundamental theorem of calculus and these two rates will cancel out each other and hence uh, of course using properties from the calculus one and hence we have the speed of beta to be one so this proof following this proof we can easily find arc length reparameterization of any given curve so what do we need to do for any given example we need to calculate the arc length function okay so given this curve alpha we need to calculate this arc length function by choosing some base point so for example we can take base point to be zero and then by calculating alpha prime of u norm du okay and uh, we start from this arc length function and then of course we can easily calculate what is alpha prime minus a sine u in this case and a cosine u and then the derivative of bt is b and then of course in the next case uh, in the next step we are we will be calculating the norm or the length of this velocity vector which is a square sine square u plus a square cosine square u plus b square so which is equal to square root of a square plus b square okay now what do we need to do we need to calculate this uh, integral so this a square plus b square is constant so we can write it down outside the integral and here you can notice that we have chosen this base point to be zero okay calculating this uh, integral it's going to be equal to t and so we have this function s which is a function of t and in this case there is no need to see uh, there is no need to confirm that uh, s of t is invertible or not and what is the inverse of s because in this case we can easily see that the inverse of t is going to be equal to s okay so s divided by a square plus b square so this is the inverse which we can actually calculate and the theorem provides us the proof that the inverse of s of t always exists so here is the value of uh, the inverse of s of t which is t is equal to s okay so s over square root of a square plus b square now we can find out alpha of t of s which is our new uh, parameterization of the same curve same geometrical path and uh, uh, this is obtained as by putting uh, or replacing t with the value of t as a function of s so we just replace t with s over a square plus b square s a square plus b square square root so that is our new parameterization of the same curve represented by alpha now uh, let's see if this new parameterization uh, has the same orientation this arc length reparameterization has the same orientation or different orientation so in other words if alpha is uh, going from point a to b then if beta is going in the same direction from a to b or in the opposite direction okay so there is a way for checking whether uh, a reparameterization of a given curve is uh, orientation preserving or orientation reversing so this h of s is uh, uh, the change of uh, parameterization function if the derivative of this h of s is greater than zero then it is orientation preserving and if it is less than zero then it is orientation reversing and in this case 
in the case of unit speed reparameterization uh, this uh, function has always non-negative derivative so it is always orientation preserving reparameterization now in this module we have found a way of reparameterizing any given curve alpha so that the new reparameterization is a unit speed parameterization so it is known as the arc length reparameterization and this is helpful in finding the geometrical properties because the geometry of these two representations is the same but their speed is different and if the speed is unit for any given uh, curve then it helps us in simplifying the computations